Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. I assume that many of you have at least heard of, if not already tried, some of the cool AI-powered tools coming out recently. The last few months, there's been quite a bit of buzz around the progress made in AI-generated art, with Midjourney and Dolly especially making the news. More recently, a company called OpenAI has been putting out cutting-edge text-generating tools. In this video, we're going to play around with one and see if, in its infinite wisdom, it can craft for us a perfect build order for Age of Empires 2. Now, you might reasonably wonder what a text-generating AI could possibly know about Age of Empires, but it actually seems to know quite a bit. It can explain with reasonable accuracy what Age of Empires 2 is, here showing the AI's answer to my prompt highlighted in green. It's at least able to confidently give factual explanations, though it does imply AB2 has a stone and iron age, so certainly the details aren't always perfect. In addition to just summarizing things, it also seems to be able to do more creative things as well, and that's maybe the more exciting part. Here, it's able to write a short poem about AOE2, again getting a little hung up on the Stone and Iron Age, but overall it's pretty on point. It can even do Age of Empires puns, saying the game is so old it's positively medieval. Likewise, it can write jokes, telling me that Age of Empires 2 players who are getting old should be called relics, which is admittedly a better joke than I could probably come up with on the spot. It even wrote me a brief public apology suitable for a YouTuber, which I'll save for a future controversy, as it never hurts to be prepared. Sending emails to family members for their birthdays is also going to be much easier. I'm kind of joking, but it's also a little unnerving how much of what we're going to read going forward, and probably already, is generated by AIs. So clearly it's clever and can be creative, but still demanding an Age of Empires to build order out of it is ambitious. The AI at least agrees that a build order is important though, so the motivation is certainly there. It says they're extremely important, in fact, and is the difference between winning and losing, allowing you to get your economy and military up and running. I thought we'd have it try to make a Scout Rush build order, as that seems like a pretty classic strategy, and then I'll try it out against the extreme AI to see how well it works. First though, I needed to know what sieve to pick, so I asked it which one I should use for a Scout Rush, and it suggested Hunts. That seems like a reasonable choice, though its rationale was a little suspicious, citing that they have the fastest infantry in the game. That's definitely news to me, but still, we'll go with Huns anyway, and I then asked it for a Hun build order, giving it a prompt of a style I wanted, and here's what it generated. I'm a little worried about the 2 on wood to start, especially as Huns being down 100 wood off the bat, but this AI is pretty smart. So let's give it an honest shot, and maybe we're stumbling on the new meta. Let's check it out. All right, and since we're Huns, we're going to grab some wood here first, as we don't need to build houses. And then do some exploring with our goats. In fact, uh, looking ahead here, I've got only two on wood, so I wouldn't mind if these guys want to chop some wood for a minute. Maybe we'll grab uh, 30 wood. Every little bit helps when you're only going to have two on wood. Okay, I'm going to use lots of waypoints because i got to be looking at my... Um, got to be looking at this build order here. Okay, so i got six on sheep, two on wood, and then three on gold. The three on gold is weird, but I would say it's the two on wood that I'm going to have to get creative with. I think I have to grab straggler trees here with my first two lumberjacks. As I'm not going to have enough wood for a lumber camp and a mining camp. And I want the camp for the gold. Oops. You guys going to go there next? Get in there. Now, I know it's a little unorthodox, but yeah, we're going to have to go with straggler trees because I don't want those gold miners walking back and forth. I think probably after that, we'll get a lumber camp, though, once we have another 100 wood. Alright, well, that's all my sheep. That's kind of nice. And I guess we'll put it here. Okay, send you guys forward. <laughs> Three on gold. It's so weird. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to trust the AI. We're going to assume it's got this all figured out. And that everything's calculated. Alright, that's our three on gold, and now one on boar. 
Alright, well, let's just grab our front one here. So, obviously, the reason that three on gold is uh, very strange is we don't really need gold, especially for going scouts. Like, we're not going to need gold unless we're going to try to, you know, click up to Castle Age or switch to Archers, which, I mean, I guess we could do, honestly. Uh, let's see, one on berries. Okay. You know, I'm already kind of impressed with this. So, we just passed 100 wood again. And right as this guy comes out. So, I don't know. This uh, I'm starting to gain some faith in this. Maybe don't lose a villager, but... Alright, hang on. What's next? Uh, okay, one on berries, one on deer. Okay, uh, right. Um, okay, question. Are we going to push this deer or are we going to mill this deer? I got to ask it. Building a mill is the best option here. Pushing the deer to the DC can be useful in the later stages of the game. But for now... It's better to focus on gathering food for your military units. Okay, well, if the AI says we're making a mill, then I guess that's what we're going to do. Just going to have to make it work. So I'm just going to hope I get enough for a mill here in a moment. It's just as well. My scout is across the map right now anyway. And let's see, next we got a bunch on wood. Okay, five on wood. Uh, that's good, because we've been very short on wood. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make a, a lumber camp here in Dark Age. I've had to make two different mills now. And a, a mining camp at a very strange time. Oh, hang on. Here he is. Okay, so I could grab my next boar here. Although it does say I want five on wood, then four on gold, and then two more on boar. So if I bring the boar in right now... Then when step 9 comes around, I'm not going to be able to get boar. So, I assume this means the AI wants me to hold off on grabbing that second boar for now. We'll just go off our sheep for a while, and then we'll grab this a little later. Okay, I need two more on wood. I don't know if i got enough straggler trees here. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I do, because... Oh, no. Never mind. I was going to build a lumber camp, but I guess not. Um, we just need one more, actually, on wood. This is such a good wood line. That's so close to the town center. Um, so that's our seven on wood. So next is four on gold. Oh man, if it wasn't for all this gold, I would almost believe this is a real build order. All right, let's go build our lumber camp. So we did get a lumber camp in Dark Age. That's perfect. Um, probably gonna run out of sheep here soon. So we need seven on gold. Seven on gold in Dark Age is just insane. Okay, you. I'm gonna do this afterwards. I'm just kind of doing the same loop over and over. I mean, I assume I know what he's gonna do. It's gonna be um, archers, obviously. I think he's pushing deer as well because his score is terrible. Uh, but we need one more in gold. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to lure the next boar though. But this is fine because after this guy on gold, I have almost 500 gold in the Dark Age. Okay, yeah, these next two have to go on four, which is perfect. So we're just bringing it in now. So that works out. Okay, that looks like a wood line. Good. Oh, no, no, no. Advance to fuel at nine minutes, 15 seconds. Okay. That's a very aggressive time for the AI. Which I kind of expected because I'm pretty sure it pushed here. Maybe we're okay. Uh, let's see. Hang on, was that our two on boar? I think that was. So now we just have one on berries and one on deer. Uh, yeah, you go over here. Okay, and then we grab this, and then it says two scouts, so I guess we just go up to the next stage. Uh, maybe we'll put a forward barracks here or something. Yeah, well, the AI definitely caught up in score, so... Hmm... Now the question is, am I going to be able to click up here in a minute? Uh, okay, this is going to be tight. Come on, open AI. Don't fail me now. Tell me this was calculated. We have 500 food with 15 food to spare. Wow. Yeah, I'm starting to believe in this build, guys. 
hang on. Why do I have two over here? Because one of you is supposed to be on deer. Whoops. Okay, well, we'll send you over to deer. Yeah, I did deviate slightly from the build order there. But actually not to my benefit. That guy should have been over on deer and she should have been over here. Okay, and I, I kind of wish I had houses. I would like a little bit of a house wall. Uh, uh-oh. I guess we can afford some farms. I just, I need a 175 for my uh, stable when I go up. But these guys are going to be farmers, and this is why it's nice to have some straggler trees left over. I think we can afford this, right? Yeah, we can. Uh, it's not ideal to have this many farmers, obviously, because you want more on berries, then you wouldn't need this many farmers, but... I'm gonna trust in the AI. One nice thing is I do have 27 population. That 27 villager scout rush, right? New meta. Who's gonna build? I think we can spare three gold miners, considering we have a thousand gold, and we haven't even hit feudal age yet. And let's do our our stable. Okay, I'm gonna get these again. I can't. Having a little trouble affording my farms. Come on. Alright, you know what? Really, all things considered, we're not in a super bad spot here. We're just floating a ton of gold. And I guess we'll make our scouts now. Yep, and we have archers coming in. Okay, and I'm off my berries. Uh, you know what I'm wondering, actually? We've got 1,100 gold. Okay, hold on. I'm going to ask the AI if I'm allowed to buy my way up to Castle Age here. Yes. It is important to get to the Castle Age as quickly as possible in an archer rush. You should use the gold to buy food so that you can reach the Castle Age as soon as you have enough wood and stone. This will allow you to build your castle and train the units you need to defend against the archer rush. See, I think this was the plan, right from the start. I think this AI is maybe smarter than I'm giving it credit for. I think it had me get all that gold because it's just going to turn it into like some crazy fast castle market play. Uh, there's two scouts, I guess we kind of want. Definitely nice to see that their archers are getting hung up on my mill. You can keep attacking that as long as you want. Yeah, I kind of wish I had my berries, but... Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, well... We're going up. All right, well now, question is, what do I do? Um, I think probably a tower is going to be nice. Maybe kind of a weird location for that tower. Let's uh, lead him away here. Oops, that's not what I want. Let's grab this. This is a lot of units. Everything's fine, though. Don't panic. Wouldn't mind bloodlines. Okay, we gotta get these guys out of here. Oh, I lost some of my scouts. And I don't think I'm gonna make any more. That was just kind of a waste. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, the, uh, the villager distribution here got a little wonky. I still have faith in the build order, though. It's, I'm gonna be leaning on that, and it's gonna carry us through. That is a lot of archers. That mill is doing some serious work right now. Obviously, the issue here is this is what happens when you straight fast castle. And it is very punishable. And let's see. I don't even have a blacksmith. I'm going to make a blacksmith. I almost feel like... I need my armor upgrade before I even try to do anything here. Okay, and he's running because I just reached the next stage, maybe? No, he's coming back. Okay. Well, he almost got my mill. Imagine the shame if I'd lost the mill to the AI. Um, I do want this armor to come in. Oh, he's coming back to finish the job. Oh, come on, man. At least leave me my pride here. Uh, no you don't. Uh, 
Okay, what can we afford? I absolutely cannot afford anything other than a complete all-in right now. All right, we're stabilizing though. And you know what? I don't think the build order led me that far astray. All right, we're starting to get a little bit of an advantage here, I think. Let's, uh, we can take a good fight, I think. All right, armor, come save the day. These are knights with plus one armor. What I like plus two, but it is what it is. Oh, that's a good fight. All I can attribute this success to is definitely not my play. This must be the build order. It's perfect. And I think we pretty much won this. We still have to go through the motions, but I think we've got a bit of an advantage. Uh, as in we're Castle Age, and the AI is still throwing out... Nah, they're upgraded, but they're just Feudal Age archers. Um, I need way more... Way more farms here. Okay, having a little trouble uh, maintaining our knight production. Not having berries will sort of do that, though, as then you need really early farms and everything. Let's start raiding in a couple different places at once and see where we can catch some villagers. Okay, I like it. We got some farmers, we got some lumberjacks. I think I might even just out of my town center here a bit and just try to keep knights coming out. And you know what? Just we're going to send a villager to go heal that mill. That mill was a real MVP in the early game. Uh, it doesn't feel right to just leave it out there burning. Uh, okay, AI, I think you're kind of dead here, bud. And you're responding with a stable. Okay. Hey, I said to repair that mill. Yeah, I was kind of hoping I could kill it before 25 minutes once I started going all in. All right, there we go. Just for 26 minutes. Now, admittedly, I did ask it for a Scout Rush build order, and this felt, in playing it, way more like a Fast Castle build order with a slight detour into two different Scouts. But you know what? It worked. I actually can't fault it. This is kind of creepy how good this build order was. Now, part of what made it work, though, to be honest, there's some pretty crazy stuff, like the 2 on wood and all the gold. I think what made this partly work was just that there were so many villagers. As long as you're keeping all of your villagers working, I don't know, once you have a market, you can kind of rebalance it out. So I, I think the market kind of saved the day there. All right, let's, uh, that's a pretty good KD ratio. Yeah, that's a lot of gold collected, for sure. So overall, I have to say that went better than I expected, and for going with the first response it gave me, that was surprisingly good. That said, I asked it for some other build orders, and they definitely weren't all the same quality, with its recommended archer build suggesting going feudal with only 12 villagers. Maybe I got a bit lucky on that scout rush, and that it gave me so many villagers that I could at least work with. I'll leave a link to OpenAI below if you want to try it out yourself, and I'll leave you on this joke the AI told me. Question, why did the Byzantines build walls around their cities? Answer, to keep the Huns out. You can see it has a very literal sense of humor, I suppose. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, remember to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below. At least that's what the AI told me to say. That'll do it for this one, though. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.